Okay, so this is everything running. I don't have motion on. I don't know how much that'll affect the performance of the GPU. I don't think at all. I have super sampling on Oculus Tray set to 1.1 and high priority everything, high performance everything. I have this performance monitor on in Steam VR to, to show you the, the stability. Is that high shader, high texture, ref reflections low, screen space reflections only on replay, shadows medium, night lighting off, ambient occlusion off, advanced ambient occlusion off, particles and ultra, advanced blending off, weather low, crowd off, cloth off, mirrors off, vehicle details low, track ultra, object ultra, trees ultra, ground cover high, skid marks off, god rays, all this stuff is on replay. If you wonder why I have so many things set to low and off, it's because I'm prioritizing super sampling because I'm trying to get a really good image. Uh, it looks better for you all, I think, from what I've tested. So right now, uh, we're starting off kind of high. I'm going to have to probably bu bump the super sampling down one more Five, notch. Because that should be uh, three, two, hovering around one, 9 go. to the low 10s, and we're in 11. 50, Typically, when we're starting off at 11 50, like this, um, six right, if we have any problem areas, it'll kind of six right of jump, have some slowdown. So we'll need to turn that down a little bit. Portion, two left. Now, when I'm not recording in OBS... I can pump the graphics up so much. I, I, I don't know why OBS is so taxing on the GPU, especially when I have it set for CPU and low CPU usage at that. So I don't know what the hell is going on there, but. Into three, left long, narrow, 50. Middle of a big jump. Now I'm not, I'm not driving to, to do well right now. I'm just kind of driving to show you the performance. And like I said, this stage in particular has a spot that I know is problematic. So if we can get by it with a minimal frame skips or whatever they're called, um, stutters, hitching, whatever you want to call it, then we're in business. Into three right. Okay, it's coming up here. Into four left of a crest long. Thirty. Five left. Into four right. This is the biggest of a junction. Um, performance hit I've four seen in the game. Of a crest. Into four hey, that wasn't bad. That's acceptable. Into four left long I felt it a little bit, two. but in terms of right long, the game's overall performance, I'm happy with that. Left. Because, I mean, the majority of the time, I, I would like it to look better. So, if there's a couple little problem spots, that's not too bad, but uh, I might bump it down one more just to kind of have some headroom. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to bump it down 0.1 more notches on an uh, Oculus tray. Into two, right of a crest long. But the game looks pretty damn good. I wish I could have a, like I said, screen. Two right titans. I wish I could have screen space reflections on because that really helps put you in the game rather than like on top of it. Um, and I do wish I could have shadows and ultra. There's a couple things that I'm gonna miss, but for the most part, um, this is how I've wanted the game to look for a long time. And I always had to make huge compromises to get it to look like this. Um, and never with OBS running in the background. So, maybe I just have the OBS set up wrong or something, but... I don't feel like it should be affecting my performance. Like, if I turn this... If I turn OBS off right now, I'd be, like, floating in the, uh... Like, 9 to 10 range. Um, right here on, on the, uh... The Steam GPU performance meter here. Which would be super solid, and, and you none of those peaks would be going over that little blue line or that gray line, whatever it looks like to you. Um, and it'd be super solid frame frame rate. But uh, honestly, this looks really good. Let me know what you think, and uh, you know I'll, I'll tweak it a little bit more. I'm not really paying attention to my driving, by the way, as you probably could tell. I'll probably tweak it a little bit more, but uh, this is definitely good enough 
for this problematic stage. And there's a couple more stages I know that have problems, like in uh, yep. in USA, there's a, a, a part where there's like, a, like a, a wooded area, then a water splash, and it always kind of slows down right before there. And I tested it out with a little bit more super sampling, and it passed that area with flying colors. So this area right here is, or not this area, but this stage in particular, with that one little, uh, what's it called? That one little pass that we did. Um, that's been the most problematic. So, yeah, I'm gonna notch it down one more just to kind of have a little bit of extra headroom for you know like weird CPU or GPU spikes, and uh, we're gonna call that good. Let me know how you like the results. I've also turned the resolution up uh, through Oculus. It's kind of like a hidden feature. It, it used to be in high performance mode and now it's in high quality mode, which ups the resolution a bit. So um, I can't remember how I did that, but just to let you know, you know, most of my driving in this game is in cockpit mode. So reflections and stuff would be more important if I played in third person. Um, and I don't play in too much wet weather. So I feel like uh, this is a nice compromise even though I bought the fucking 3090 not to compromise. Anyway, have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.